and I want to go over a few things today. I um, wanted to do this in particular today because I just got done with a patient and she was having these exact symptoms that were causing her to have low thyroid symptoms even though her, her do other doctor's lab tests showed normal and um, she just continues to have not only low thyroid symptoms but she's also having some other symptoms. Now, these other symptoms uh, were more female hormone type symptoms. She was getting um, irregular menstrual cycle. She gets heavy bleeding during her cycle. Um, she's getting breast tenderness. Um, she's getting uh, bad headaches in the second half of her cycle. Uh, she's, she's also getting some, some water retention um, early in her, her cycle too. So we saw all these symptoms and we've got to kind of um, put this together. You know, why is she having these uh, low thyroid symptoms along with these other things and how could this possibly connect? Because typically if you go in to some doctors and you talk about the thyroid and you say, you know, but also I'm having female hormone problems, they're going to say, well, don't tell me about the th female hormone problems. I just want to hear about your thyroid. Go to your OBGYN to talk about your female hormones. Wrong. It all connects. You can't separate the two. In fact, all these systems of our body talk to each other. You can't just look at them section by section, part by part. You've got to put the whole picture together. And this is what we had to do with this young lady's case because she was just continuing to worsen and had given up on already four different uh, doctors. So the thing that we've got to look at is how does progesterone, which we're going to show is the problem, how does that affect the thyroid hormones? Well, interestingly enough, progesterone actually increases a enzyme that helps with the production of thyroid hormone. You know, this is why too, when women are ovulating, they actually get a raise in their temperature, um, even some increased metabolism with that too. And that's because of the increased thyroid activity uh, as progesterone increases. So what's happening with this young lady? Yeah, she's gonna have, which we're gonna still run some tests on her and make sure, but uh, based on our symptom picture, which we can find out a lot from that, rather than running thousands of dollars worth of tests, the doctor should find out some things about the history. Again, progesterone, if it is low, you will get decreased thyroid hormone production, especially during your menstrual cycle. And again, not only will you get these symptoms of low progesterone, like heavy bleeding during the menstruation, um, headaches in the second half of the cycle, um, infertility, breast tenderness, um, swelling in the, in the extremities, things like this, if that's not working right, and typically this is a problem that we'll find the most, it's usually uh, a luteinizing hormone issue where LH or luteinizing hormone is what signals your, um, your body to make more progesterone. So typically we find the problems there and a lot of times we'll find that there's an underlying cause to that. So the answer isn't to go out and take a bunch of progesterone cream or something like that or get injections of progesterone. No, find out the underlying cause. Why isn't my body doing this? Don't just add stuff. Let's find out why and what the reason is. Again, what we're going to find in this young lady's case, I'm betting about 99.9% .9 is that she has low progesterone affecting her ability to manufacture enough thyroid hormone. And this is giving her these subclinical thyroid symptoms that don't quite show up on her labs completely. But again, she's displaying all of the symptoms. So this is what you have to do. And, and you can do this. You don't have to settle for, sorry, you're fine, send you off to another doctor. No, pursue, find a doctor who's going to look at the whole picture who's going to look at all these different details. Otherwise, if the ball is always missed, um, you're going to be left to live with a lot of this or you're going to end up again on antidepressants or some other symptom m medication. So don't give up. Um, and again, there's quite a few reasons that the thyroid can work improperly. It's finding out which reason is the cause of yours. So I hope you got some great information from this and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.